Hi, it's Liam Jeffrey, giving you a quick overview of what happened in the Dubai property market today. So in total we saw 48 transactions. This consisted of seven plots of land, two villas, 30 apartments and nine offices being sold. Now, usually I don't really touch on uh, office space or commercial buildings, but today there was a property sold in Almas Tower. Now, Almas Tower is a very famous building. It's the tallest building in JLT. It stands out a mile. Um, it's 68 floors high, uh, actually. It was developed by Dubai Multi Commodity Center, or DMCC. Uh, it was launched in 2005 and handed over in 2009. So this was 1,621 square feet of office space. Uh, sold for 2.635 million. Uh, selling price per square foot of just over 1,600 dirhams. Now it's really good and important to look at the location. It's very close to Sheikh Zayed Road, really close to the metro. Um, you can't really get a better office building around the Marina JLT area than Almas Tower. Um, so yeah, next we'll go to the greens or the views. Uh, it's a building that I actually lived in myself. It's the Furways West building. Now the Furways is an EMAR project which was launched in 2005 and completed in 2009. Uh, but my favorite thing about this um, is the pool. It's an amazing infinity pool. There's three sections to the pool and you've got an amazing skyline view of the marina and JLT and JBR. And you've also got the Emirates Golf Course. So they have the Majalis where they play the Omega Desert Classic. And you've also got the Faldo Course which wraps around the outside and it's floodlit. So you can imagine in the evening, you can sit in the infinity pool and you can overlook the floodlit golf course. It's, uh, it's amazing. Um, this was a one bedroom sold in the West Building. The West Building is 31 floors high. Uh, it's sold for 1.184, selling price per square foot of 1,535 dirhams. Next, we're literally going to go across the road, cross street 5A in the greens, um, and it's called Panorama. Now, Panorama is another EMAR project. This was really the first major project launched after the 2008-2009 crisis. So it was a real turning point for the market here in Dubai. It sold out really, really well. Um, and so yeah, there's four buildings in total, 224 units. Uh, it's mid-rise, 15 floors high. Really, again, amazing views on some of the buildings of the Emirates Golf Course and Marina Skyline. This was a two bedroom sold for 2 million and 75 dirhams, selling price per square foot of 1,341 dirhams. And finally, we're gonna go and have a look at the Palm Jumeirah. This is building five or Al Hatimi. So it's on the right hand side of the shoreline. Just quickly, the, part, uh, the shoreline was launched in 2003 by Nikhil. Uh, it was finished in 2007. There's obviously two main sides to the shoreline, the right hand side and the left hand side. Right hand side is where you have the beach and amazing views from the back of the building out to the Burj Al Arab and on a nice day you can actually see downtown but it's a full sea view so yeah really big difference in price between the right hand side and left hand side. Left hand side is where the park is in between the Golden Mile and the shoreline. Um, Mid-rise building again um, this was a three bedroom sold for three million and twenty two which is, is an amazing price uh, selling price per square foot of 1,400 dirhams. Now the three bedrooms don't face directly to the sea, but it's still a uh, really good size and, um, and yeah, an amazing price. So in total for January so far, we've seen just over 566 million dirhams worth of land sales and 381 million dirhams worth of unit sales. So a fairly slow start to the year so far, but obviously we've got um, a lot coming up. So let's see how it goes. As always, thanks for watching.